Hey everybody, CBQ here, back with another edition of How It Works, and today we're gonna to be answering a question from Bart. Bart commented, I'd like to know more about the rugged computer you guys are using uh, and how you are attaching multiple RealSense cameras to it. So uh, I'd like to address that comment here. I'm actually here with uh, my colleague Matt, uh, working on a mower. I figured I'd grab one and show him uh, and show you how this works. So our software runs on x86 hardware on Linux. So the computer we, we use needs to meet a couple of criteria, but most uh, industrial style, um, uh, DIN style computers will work. The big needs are obviously temperature and vibration. And so once it meets those requirements, uh, we're good to go. This one happens to be a computer by the company called Rugged Science. Uh, we like them, they, they build great uh, rugged hardware uh, and they've been really great to work with so far, but uh, any rugged computer will work. There are plenty of vendors out there. Um, the computer we use is fanless, and it's got an operating uh, range of negative 40 degrees uh, up to 75 degrees Celsius, which I believe is about 140 something uh, Fahrenheit. Um, and we have hit that in the field before, um, and uh, we've made some thermal uh, changes to the way that this back is so that we'd be able to operate in those temperatures, but Texas does not mess around. It does get hot. Uh, the computer will degrade and performance will degrade enough that sometimes uh, it, it will, will happen, but uh, we've hopefully got through all those thermal issues. Uh, but this computer works great. The thing we like about this one is it has six independent gigabit uh, ethernet. Uh, these are PoE, so they can power ethernet devices. Uh, this is great for some of the new cameras we're using, um, including the uh, Depth AI from Luxonis, uh, as well as some LiDAR. So those can power that. Uh, it also has CAN bus, which is crucial for the um, control of our uh, mowers and, and other field units. Another great feature is the six volt uh, to 36 volt DC power input with 80 volt surge protection. And it has a configurable ignition, so you can turn it on and make sure it comes on with key ignition and turns off automatically when the key it goes off. Now the thing that enables us to plug in all those real sense is the um, PCIe expansion card. Now in here we have a eight port USB. Now this PCIe has 200 watt power budget, so we've got it this eight port version of this uh, USB controller. And the key thing is per port power. Now, what does per port power mean? Per port power is critical because it enables us to unplug and replug a, any device connected to it safely with software. So uh, a long time ago, a friend of mine who works in, an, in a, a security robotics company told me, you're gonna want that feature. And I laughed at him because I thought he was kidding, uh, but he is not kidding. And in fact, you do need that ability to do. So we need to be able to do that safely and without impact to our customer or our system or any of the safety systems that we do. So um, luckily we do have that capability. So to answer your question on how we connect these, it's the answer is this USB expansion card, which we then label per port. We know which ports are connected when it is built and comes down the assembly line. The um, uh, technicians will plug in the correct uh, units, the correct sensors to these. They're labeled so we know which ones they are. Our software can actually detect them and we can even match them to the serial numbers. We use a special library from the vendor that we contributed back to open source to enable this per port power control. And uh, the tricky part comes in keeping track of which cameras on which port. So we use the RealSense open source firmware tools, which we can also use to upgrade the uh, firmware and, and hardware on these cameras ourselves uh, via software. And uh, when it goes down those line, we maintain a fork. We used to maintain a fork of the RealSense libraries, but now we use the stock ones uh, with kernel patches uh, that enable the built-in Linux kernel video support, which is crucial and much more performant, faster, more reliable than the stock USB that's contributed by many of the upstream providers. I encourage you to look at that. We've contributed some of the documentation to that. Uh, so definitely, if you're using RealSense, make sure you're using the uh, kernel uh, patch version and not the uh, standard libUSB. But again, to answer your question, a big beefy USB expansion card with poor port power control, some software to aid in setup configuration and uh, managing these is how we do it. So thanks again for the question, Bart. Uh, if you have any more questions on how our system works, feel free to leave a comment. We'd love to answer them. Uh, all right, thank you.